Good morning, Genesee Hill students and families, and welcome to this week's art lesson. It's me, your art teacher, Mrs. Ordonez, and I am teaching your lesson this week from my home art studio. And this week we are going to be studying and creating art in the style of this well-known African-American artist named Faith Ringgold. We will be looking at a quilt that she created and the story that goes along with it called Tar Beach. We are then going to create art in the same style as Faith Ringgold around our personal ideas of what freedom looks like to us. Tar Beach is the first quilt in Ringgold's colorful and lighthearted series entitled Women on a Bridge that lives at the Guggenheim Museum. It depicts the fantasies of its heroine and narrator, Cassie Louise Lightfoot, who, on a summer night in Harlem, flies over the George Washington Bridge. Sleeping on Tar Beach was magical, explains Cassie in the text on the quilt. Only eight years old and in the third grade and I can fly. That means I am free to go wherever I want for the rest of my life. For Ringgold, this flight through the urban night sky symbolizes the potential for freedom and self-possession. My women, proclaimed Ringgold about the Women on a Bridge series, are actually flying. They are just free, totally. They take their liberation by confronting this huge masculine icon, the bridge. For this project, I chose to use blue construction paper as my background. I did this because when I watched a video about Faith Ringgold's process, she said she always painted her background one solid color to start. Since my project is taking place in a night sky, I chose blue construction paper. You can see that I am drawing my characters out in pencil to start. I wasn't quite ready to go with oil pastel in case I changed my mind. I'm drawing my characters large so that when I color them in with oil pastel, I will have enough space to do so. I'm drawing one character with a pink dress on, and my other character is wearing a purple dress. Our goal for this project is to express our own vision of what freedom means to us. To me, freedom would look like racial equality. So I chose to draw one character with white skin and the other character with black skin. My black character is pointing the way to show my white character which direction we should go in next. I'm adding highlights on each of their dresses using the color of the opposite dress by blending my oil pastels one on top of the other. And lining the edge of my paper so that my paper will look more like Faith Ringgold's quilt. The paper I used was from two different sources. First, a map of the Olympic Peninsula because I wanted to represent the Native American land and the people who live here. The origami paper I used to represent Japanese Americans and to reference um, their struggle with being treated unfairly in the history of the Pacific Northwest. I will glue down each of these squares around the perimeter of my project. And then I will go back and add a black outline around my characters to help them stand out. Finally, I will touch up any details that I notice at the end of my project. You will see me add some yellow and white highlights on top of the squares that I have glued down because I want to add details on top of the paper prints just like Faith Ringgold did on top of her cloth squares on her quilts. I am so excited to see how your freedom quilts turn out. 
When you are finished with your projects, please bring them to Genesee Hill and place them inside our art gallery, which is on the fence in front of the school. If you'd like to tune in for a live version of this lesson, I will be sharing it on Monday at our school-wide Zoom meeting at 10 o'clock.